Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing an episode of Shop or Drop where I go through all the new makeup on Trend Mood's Instagram and I tell you whether or not I will be shopping for the item or dropping them from my shopping list. As always, this idea was of course inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. So if you want to go over some new makeup, talk about some news in the beauty industry, all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. So this is always the first dive in to tell you what to expect on my channel, what you should not expect and all of that good stuff. So let's start off right here. This is not a makeup launch, but I mean, it's right there. Right there, very close. So Jaclyn Roxanne, Jaclyn Hill just launched a jewelry line which is available right now on her website. I actually did not pick up anything, so let's give that a drop. Now it's not that I didn't like the pieces. I actually saw a few necklaces and earrings that I was very interested in, especially the necklace that was layered. I was super interested in that but I did see on her Twitter that she was having issues and I forgot about the launch and then I saw that on Twitter and I was like mm, don't need it I have a great collection of jewelry already I make my own jewelry I buy from a lot of other places as well so it just wasn't anything that I need I mean I think the jewelry was a fair price point but it still was like kind of expensive you know so I decided to pass I don't love all of the pieces I think some are a little bit outdated but for the most part I think she was very thoughtful with the pieces that she designed and overall I think it's a really great launch really great collection very excited for her but I just didn't buy anything I don't know <laughs> I actually you know what I don't know if they have anything in stock but some of these pieces might make good Christmas gift for somebody I have in mind so I might actually pick up something for a gift but not for myself so I'm dropping it just because I have a lot of jewelry already Okay, these looked very interesting. M Cosmetics has launched these highlights. And at first I wasn't very interested because there's just so many highlights that we have. It takes one of my favorite brands launching a highlight for me to actually be interested. And I trust the items that M Cosmetics comes out with, but they aren't one of my target brands. But what has made me raise my eyebrows is Michelle Fun, the owner of this brand, talked about how she didn't like us, you know, she's aging, even though she's still very young, but she's aging and she didn't like the way that highlighters sat on her aging skin. So she created a formula that worked very well for her skin type and sat on the skin very pretty. And for some reason, I just have a really good feeling about these highlights. I'm going to drop them for now, but this is something where maybe Black Friday if M Cosmetics has a really good sale or they have a bundle, I can see this highlight being in my collection eventually, but I'm not jumping on board quite yet, so it is a drop right now. But I really do have a good feeling about these highlights. I don't think Michelle Fun would steer us wrong, so I'm actually kind of excited to see what other people think about these highlights because I think they are gonna be amazing. M Cosmetics does not come out with bad products. Okay, so I actually love this collection. So this is already launched, I mean, it's past Halloween. But ColourPop launched the Nightmare... Oh, I forgot to move over. <laughs> Here we are. ColourPop launched the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I don't like Halloween. And I actually am sometimes on <laughs> ColourPop's PR list. I get some of their launches and I actually did receive this launch. I had no interest in picking this up for myself. If it's a collection I really love, I'll buy it just in case I don't get it in PR. Didn't buy this dropped it. However, now that I have it in my collection, if I knew what I know now, I most certainly would have picked this up. Because even though I don't really like Halloween, I've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, I probably have when I was younger, but it has no meaning to me. The collection itself is amazing. The packaging is amazing. The palette, I think, is an interesting enough color story. I don't think ColourPop really has a color story like this. Everything about this collection, I love. The quality on this one seems really good so far from what I've swatched. So it was a drop, but I'm going to switch it over to shop, knowing what I know now. If you're interested in it, I think you will really enjoy this collection. It's awesome. So I'm speaking from experience. That one is worth 
the shop. Lisa Eldridge is a brand I think a lot of you guys really enjoy, but it's not a brand that I have dabbled into yet. I've never tried anything from the brand, but your love for the brand is really making me think twice. I've heard nothing but great things about the foundation, and then there is also these eyeshadows. I believe this is already launched already. I'm dropping for now, and it's not because I'm not curious. I absolutely am, but just... <sighs> It's so busy during the holiday season with video ideas that I really don't want to add more onto my plate. Like if this had launched in say, I don't know, February, March, April, May, when the makeup industry is a little bit slower, I would have picked these up. But right now I don't wanna buy anything and just feel too busy and not review it. But I'm really interested in eventually picking up the foundation because I've heard nothing but great things. The eyeshadows though, I try and stay away from buying liquid eyeshadows because they're the ultimate product that like attracts me. I love a liquid eyeshadow, but then they sit in a drawer and I never use them. So unless they're like from my favorite, favorite brands, I'm not going to pick up any liquid shadows. So drop for now. I don't have the time for it. I think, you know, the next collection that feels right for me to pick up, I want to add that foundation on. I really, really do. I honestly didn't even know this launched until I was going through trend mood. This is a Stunning collection by ColourPop, right up my alley, the Quartz collection. I believe it is already launched. These singles, I'm very, very, very attracted to. The palette looks really nice. Do I want that? No, 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 no. I can't buy more ColourPop. We're gonna drop that, but I don't think it will take much for me to want to pick that up. Honestly, if ColourPop has a good Black Friday sale, I might be picking up this collection. We're gonna say drop for now because I, I don't need it, but I really, just looking at this, have nothing but positive things to say. Wow, cool tones are really popular now. I used to have to search and dig for a good cool toned palette, and so many good ones have come out now. And what is also kind of having me back away from this collection is I did get a PR package of a collection that I'll talk about later, the Mandalorian collection, and one of the palettes looks similar to that, so that's why I'm going to back off on that. All right, Melt Cosmetics has, they had like a pre launch and then it will be launching again at a later time the Amor y Mariposas collection and oh you guys I had decided that I was going to shop the eyeshadow palette but everything in this collection looks incredible a little bit not my style honestly but the PR box is like $400 it looks incredible I was going to shop the eyeshadow palette not the entire collection but I'm going to brag here because I'm really excited they're sending this to me in PR and let's be honest here, you guys. I don't know why they're sending this to me in PR because I have said some very not nice things about Melt. And I will continue to if they don't keep up the pace. But Melt Cosmetics is very hit or miss. I was going to buy this palette because it's the first big palette that they were going to have. I wasn't necessarily in love with the color story. It looked, it, it was a bit out there for me, but... I just needed to know, you know, for my research purposes. But I am so excited that they are sending me the PR box. So unbelievably thankful. Again, like I said, I don't know if they know what they're getting into by sending me it. But I know for a fact the PR package is going to be amazing. We'll just have to see about the colors. So it was a shot for me, not the whole collection, but the palette. Everything else was a drop for me, but you will see it coming soon on my channel. That's for sure. Okay, this is random, but I just wanted to talk about this because I totally took a double take. So this is She Glam Official, which I believe is Shein's, right? Maybe it's not, I could be wrong. This, I could have sworn, was Danessa Myricks. And this is an affordable makeup brand. So we have multi-chrome highlights, eyeshadow palettes, liquid eyeshadows. These are available now. Wow, that palette in the upper left, I'm very attracted to. The liquid shadows look awesome. I'm going to be dropping it just because, again, time-wise. But if I had the time, I think I would have picked these up. Because if these are good, like being able to get products like this at a good price unheard of for these multi-chrome style products i mean the packaging i can tell looks a little cheap but these products look expensive these types of products are expensive yeah okay artist couture 
has launched, and these, this launched last week, Liquid Eyeshadows. I really love some Artist Couture products, but I'm going to be honest, in some ways, Artist Couture is a little chaotic to me. I just feel like, I don't know, I don't know. There's just like, most of the products from Artist Couture, honestly, don't appeal to me. And these don't, mostly for the fact that I'm just over Liquid Shadows. I know my behavior with them, so it is a drop, but they look pretty it's just a little late to be launching liquid shadows in my opinion. Okay, a little bit of beauty news for you. If you guys didn't see this, Tati Beauty is now closed. I, I did watch the video. It had I'm sure it had to do with her litigation stuff. It's very sad that we never got to see this brand really grow. We only had the one product and then the face product. And honestly, I did not like this palette. I didn't like the quality of it. But I mean, the layout of it, the curation of it was genius in my opinion. I love palettes that visually look like that and are organized in a way that makes sense. I mean, I thought that this was a great first palette and I thought it signaled to me that the brand was going to be awesome. There's going to be some very good releases. Whether or not I would have liked the quality, I don't know because I didn't really like the quality of this. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm really sad for Tati. I don't want anybody's business to close, you know what I mean? Would love to see her bounce back, come back with something else but it is really really sad because I feel like this was a brand obviously that had so much potential and in terms of creating makeup I felt like Tati kind of knew what she was doing I loved her vision for the palette I would have loved to have seen it expand I would love to know some of her ideas uh but yeah very 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 sad it never really even got a chance to like do anything you know okay Lunar Beauty launched the Outer Dimension collection and I believe this is like a face palette. I did not watch his launch video on this, but it looks like it's a bronzing brightening powders for the skin. We have some lip products as well, a face product. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> face palettes don't excite me. That's a me thing. I think the packaging looks really, really neat. The concept of it looks really cool. And actually for makeup artists, this looks incredible. And I am a makeup artist. Hmm. I never thought about it from that perspective. I'm not getting it. I don't need a face palette. I can actually see this being very useful. I do like to mix different colors on my own face and layer, especially when I do clients as well. So I don't think it's like not useful. I just, I don't know. I didn't pick it up. I bet you if I watched his launch video, I would probably want to pick it up knowing me, but I'm dropping it. I don't feel the need to have a face palette. And you guys know I'm off of lips and I don't need brushes. Okay, this one looked interesting to me. This is, I'm sorry, I don't know the person who created this brand, but is it Chiara for, I, I don't know the name, sure. Or is it Chiara, Chiara for, a, for I don't want to be disrespectful, let me stop. But anyways, I just thought that this was an interesting launch for a brand. It kind of looks like Nabla Cosmetics, but I love how different the eyeshadow palette is. I love the packaging of the lipsticks, pink and glittery. It can run along the lines of maybe a little childish and cheap looking, but I like it. I don't know anything about the person behind the brand. I don't know anything about this brand. It seems as though it is going to launch in Europe, but I just wanted to say, for me not knowing the person, and for this to be a first launch, this looks very, very promising. It's different, it's fun, unlike some other new brands that are gonna come out. So I'm excited about this one. Just, I don't know, we'll see. I feel like I might be talking about this brand having really fun launches later on. So something I did want to mention was that. This is what I told you we were going to talk about. So part two of the Star Wars collection with ColourPop, and I don't watch Star Wars, so this has no meaning to me. But I have been eyeing the Child palette, which is the Baby Yoda palette, for so long. It has been in my cart so many times. I've just never pulled the trigger because of the size of my eyeshadow collection. I am so pumped because ColourPop ended up sending this collection to me in PR. And yeah, I mean, I was going to shop this regardless. I'm so happy to have the whole collection. I love the colors of the Baby Yoda palette. And then we have another new palette, which is also gorgeous and cool toned. Really excited about this collection. Could have passed on the lips, but the merch my mom is excited about. She loves Baby Yoda, so she's keeping the mirror in the bag for herself. This one's a shop. 
I love the color stories of these eyeshadow palettes. And even though I don't watch Star Wars, Baby Yoda is still cute to me. So I love the color story. Love that they did a part two. Very excited about this. I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to go a little bit more in depth on my thoughts about this launch. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye out for Rem Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's makeup brand. This is probably one of the most anticipated makeup brands Fenty, Selena Gomez, and then Ariana Grande is right in that group for celeb makeup brands that we've all been excited for. And I have to say, I am underwhelmed. The packaging, it looks really cheap to me. It could be different in person, it could feel different, but just from these promo photos, it looks like you could pull it out of somebody's dirty makeup bag from the early 2000s. That's what it looks like to me. Really cheap. Listen, I am an Ariana Grande fan. I am not an Ariana Grande stan. So I don't know everything about her. I like her music. I think she's really pretty. I was excited for her makeup brand. But this looks like cheap drugstore makeup from the 2000s to me. I don't know. I mean, it could be different in person, but I watched Kelly Gucci's video on her thoughts on the brand and what she thought the brand should have been. And I wholeheartedly agree with everything she said. It's a great video. I'll link it down below. You know, she said that maybe it would have been more on brand for her to come out with more pastel colors, or even if the packaging was more pastel colors. Like, I don't know why I said pastel. <laughs> pastel colors. Yeah, no. Colors look boring to me. The packaging, I am sorry. I really hate the packaging from these photos. I probably would have expected something more glam and a little bit more girly for this launch. Something that felt a little bit, not luxury, but like more glam, a little bit more showy, you know? Glittery. I don't even know if that's Ariana Grande's vibe, but for some reason that's what I was expecting. Something pastel. <sighs> I don't know. This, it, mm. I mean, the prices are right. I think the prices are nice. They're not too expensive. What did catch my eye was a pair of lashes. I thought some of the lashes looked really good. When I think of Ariana Grande's makeup, I think of that pulled back kind of cat eye. So it looks like the eyelashes kind of have that feature. I don't even know if I want to pick anything up from this brand. I think for curiosity's purpose, I am going to shop this. But if I didn't have a YouTube channel, it would definitely be a drop. So actually, let me know. Do you want to see me review these? Do you want me to tell you what's up? I don't even know if it's going to be worth it. It's, maybe the quality is really good. I hope I can be proven wrong. I'm going to shop it. We'll just say shop for now. I'm, I'm still kind of thinking about it. At the time that this is up, it's already launched. But editing me here. I shopped it this morning. <laughs> I bought one of every formula. So it therefore is a shop. Underwhelmed is a great word to put it. Okay, uh, the next launch that we have, and I saw a lot of you actually tagged me in this. This is available now at Tarte. It's the Tartlet Full Bloom palette. Um, I'm dropping this. I don't want this. I've never really been a big fan of the Tarte eyeshadow formula, but I think this is a neat idea. Looking at this palette, the shades look a bit redundant, a few of them. I bet you a number of them are going to look the same on the eye, just because the colors, there's so many colors, but there's only like really three to four true shades <laughs> in this palette, so I imagine a lot of these shades might not be that useful. I I imagine a lot of these shades might look the same. Honestly, if I had a small makeup collection though, I'd be really excited about this because they're pretty wearable colors. Not for me though, I'm dropping it, but I know a lot of you guys were excited and I can definitely see that. Especially if you like the Tarte formula, you kind of stay in this color zone. I think it's a good palette. Like, I like the idea of it, but logistically, dropping it. <laughs> I don't need it. Okay, the next item that we have, Makeup by Mario has launched some nude eyeshadow quads, and these look beautiful. It looks like there's a couple more glittery dimensional shades. Those look wonderful as well. I will be dropping them. Well, you know what? I'm going to Sephora tomorrow, and I could totally see myself seeing these in person and buying them so 
as of now, if I stay my butt at home, I'm dropping these, but I cannot make any promises while I'm at Sephora tomorrow. But I like how there's a nude one, two, and three. Honestly, nude three looks the most attractive to me. I'm kind of into them. I'm gonna say drop, but don't hold me to it if I come home with these, because you know I don't need these. But we'll see in person if I see them tomorrow. I believe they should be in stores. Another update. I did go to Sephora today. They didn't have them. So these are going to successfully be a drop. Okay, I did want to talk about this. I've never heard of this brand before, but I've heard of the person who collabed. So this is M Milan Row Makeup, and they collabed with Doodles by The Bunny to create this eyeshadow palette. And you guys, I actually really want to buy this to support Doodles by The Bunny because she... Uh, she is so talented. She creates her own palettes. Like, she draws them out. And if I was a makeup company, I would jump on hiring her and having her on my team or collaborating with her, just like Milan Rowe, because she has such a clear vision. And if her drawings came to life, that makeup brand would do so well. You just gotta check out her Instagram page. But yeah, this palette looks really cool. I like the color story here. Really thought out as I knew it would be. The only thing that I'm unsure about is because I don't know the brand and the formulas, but I do want to support Doodles by The Bunny. So I might have to pick this up. Let's say shop. It's tentative right now, but if I see her post tomorrow, I'll probably just pick it up because she is so talented. All right, guys, that's it. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize that's where we were ending. But there we go. Those were all my thoughts on the new makeup that's currently coming out. I try and get these videos out about every two to three weeks. So that's what I can cover for now. Let me know your thoughts on what I talked about. Seriously, what are your thoughts on Ariana Grande's makeup line? Do I need to review it? Do you feel how I feel? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.